I'm going to build a system from scratch that scrapes leads while you sleep. It's fully automated, runs 24 seven, and will just drop leads consistently into Google Sheets. And I'm going to build it right along with you so you can build it with me, wake up tomorrow and have leads ready to go to start your AI automations agency. So let's build it. So I have actually built this before in make.com, but we're going to be building it in NA10 just because I tend to, or I seem to now be moving a lot of my workflows into uh, and automations into NA10 because I keep it in some sort of error, whether it's like a, in this particular case was a data error. I couldn't, um, I hit like a I hit the roof or the ceiling for how many um, megabytes of data I could transfer, basically. Um, so I was like, start this. This is another one that's going to get added into NA10. So some tools that we're going to be using, one of them is Phantom Buster. Now, I use this really just to scrape Sales Navigator. So I'll go on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I'll do a search for who I want to be reaching out to. And essentially what I'll do then is put them the URLs into a Google Sheets. So I'll just have a Google Sheet full of URLs here um, based off of the search that I've done. So I'll do a search, take the URL, put it in here, do another search, take the URL, put it in here because you can actually only scrape 2,500 leads from LinkedIn. So you have to get it down to 2,500 or less and then put the URL in here and then do another one for 2,500 and just keep doing that until you uh, have re run out of leads. Um, so yeah, we'll be using that. I'll set it up now. So the one we're gonna be using, if you just click on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, it should be easier. Um, the search export. I'm gonna go on a spreadsheet URL. Now, because I already have got one already, there you go, here's an example of one. So as long as it's shareable, anyone with the link, copy link, go into Phantom Buster and I'll paste the URL in here. Really important, if you do have a header, you need to make sure you put it in. Um, name of column container searches, just to make sure it doesn't do some random people because if it, um, it will just scrape 2,000 random people at the start because it will try and scrape this one and realize there's no URL in there and just do some random people, right? So that's it for that save. Now, you can easily get the Phantom Buster extension, which makes it really easy. It means you don't have to keep renewing your LinkedIn cookies because the good thing about Phantom Buster is that it logs in as you. Um, it will imitate you human like behavior and as you probably are aware linkedin are really strict with their automation rules and stuff like this you will get banned so if you can get a tool like phantom buster which logs in as you mimics you it will you know press connect with people or in this case it will you know visit and scroll down on the on the leads etc etc so if you just get the uh, the phantom buster extension it really helps um I'm going to get rid of these and I just want to do me personally because I've got a really warmed up LinkedIn account. I'm going to do 625 every six hours, which is 2,500 every 24 hours for someone who's got maybe, you know, not a, not as warmed up LinkedIn account. You're going to want to do quite a lot less. I might start with, you know, maybe 250 and just ramp it up slowly. You know, I've only recently really been doing 625. Any advanced behavior settings, you want to remove duplicate profiles because that can be quite annoying. Um, don't really need to do anything there. Press save. And you'd be ready to go. But, you know, if you were going to use it in Phantom Buster, because you can just pay for Phantom Buster and download the spreadsheet at the end. But I want them, just, I want it all automatically. It's a lot easier uh, for me. So we're going to send the data to a webhook. And that's where we'll start the building now. We've done this, we've done the searches, we put them into a spreadsheet, and all we want to do is have it start every six hours. And we want the data once it's been scraped to end up into a Google Sheets of mine. So we're going to do on a webhook call. Now we'll just do the test one, we'll make it a post, and the path we'll call it. Um, I probably have already got one called lead scraping, but I'm just going to put it in lead scrap on lead scraping and respond immediately. 
Okay, no, that's good. Now, really, I want to just sort of see. Um, I want to see what the data looks like. So I'm actually going to launch it, and I'm going to only do 10. In fact, I'm going to do 200. Okay, is it getting sent to the webhook? No, it's not. Go in here, stick it in, save, save and close, and let's launch it as well. Now, it should come here and we'll be able to have the data. And then if I need to run it again, I can just do that through Postman or something else I sometimes do if I've got, um, what are they called? Credits? Operations. If I've got operations left, I'll do it in here, but this is on the free plan and I have got some left to be fair. So I could create a new scenario and I'll show you different ways of sending data consistently without having to run it. Um, this is just what I do really. Um, and then raw content type application json you can just copy and paste it after it's run and you've got the data through and you can just keep you can just copy and paste the response body and just keep doing that through a make call or you can use something called postman if you're not of, um, aware of postman i don't really know what it is <laughs> i don't know how i'll describe it um but all i tend to do is just do a new request I'll put the, this is just to test webhooks and stuff. Um, put it as a post, put the URL, body, raw. And then you can just stick it in here as well. So let's see. I'll wait for this to finish and then we shall crack on. Right, it's done. So um, this is what you get. So what I can do now is just copy that and I can put it into both um, Postman like that or I could put it into here just like that. And essentially now I don't need to keep running and using my um, execution time. I have to keep running this actually. This is the third time it happened because the webhook stopped listening. Um, but yeah, we've got the data now. So you can see this is sort of the main thing we want. It gives you a CSV URL or a JSON URL as well. So the obvious thing to do there is to just extract um, one of them. But really, we want to pass this. So I think it's JSON. Pass. And we're going to pass this and we just want the JSON URL. So you just copy that dot JSON URL. Cool. And that just gives us the JSON URL. Lovely. Let's call it JSON URL. Test the step. And there you go. We've got the JSON URL. Um, straight after that, we're going to want to download that file, which is really easy. So it's just a get request and we're just going to put that in there. Um, pretty sure it's as simple as that. And it is, there you go. There's the 200 items. So rename. It's a download file. Extract JSON URL. Okay, so now we've got the 200 items. What does it give us? Profile, full name, first name, last name, company, company ID. See, that's something we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. Summary is pretty good. You can do some decent personalization from that. Let's see, it's a bit dodgy. This. Then you get the title description, which is pretty good. The industry you might want. So, what we're going to do is split it out, which is pretty much an iterator. Um, we're going to do the just the full name. I want the company name. I want the title. I definitely want the summary. Definitely want the title description. We'll have the industry. We'll have the company location. 
time at the company is pretty good sometimes for a for a personalization uh and we'll get see that says linkedin profile url but that doesn't look like a linkedin profile this does so we'll we'll get the linkedin profile url just in case we can add some sort of um step to check his linkedin or i don't know something like that but that's pretty cool i'm happy with that so if we split this out we now get the full name company name title it's a lot cleaner right lovely okay so now that we've got everything we're just probably gonna want to clean this because as you can see it's got some line breaks in or would that be all right i wonder what this would look like when it's in google sheets so we're actually going to skip that i'm just going to put it straight into google sheets so we're going to go sheets uh append a row now you're going to want to create a spreadsheet i like to do it in the same one so this will be search urls and this will be results now what did we do we did full name company name title summary i'm just going to copy this it will go downwards instead of across oh no it does go across can i split these is there a way to split them there's definitely going to be a way to split them cool i just um did it myself um right so that's what we've got now i'll go to the google sheet what was it called luna lead urls choose the sheet which is results map each column manually so you're going to go full name company name title summer summary title description industry location duration in company and the default profile url great and that's pretty much it <laughs> um this is going to run if we change this to production copy that go into here set up advanced settings webhooks put it in there save and close and then just activate the scenario now obviously every time it's run run so we're gonna have to make sure we can get it running um now yeah every time it's run it will send the data to here and it will add it into your Google Sheets. So for example, I'll copy this. In fact, let's just see it run. It's better when we can see it. Okay, so going to executions, you can just copy this. Editor, test the workflow into Postman. Make sure you got that. Make sure this is listening, which it is. And you can press send. Workflow has started. Go into here. It's extracted the JSON URL. It's downloading the file, spitting out, and it's putting it into Google Sheets. And there you go. Now, obviously, this can be quite annoying if it's large like this. So all you have to do is do it all. And oh, I thought that would work. Is it that? Nice. And you put it like that. So they're all the same. And now every single one that comes in after that will be the same as well. Uh, what do I do here normally? Format, wrapping, clip. And this will just run autonomously pretty much. Um, there is one thing you've got to do, which I prefer to do in here. It will use four operations a day. Is Phantom Buster, launch a Phantom. you just got to put your API key in. Choose the Phantom in this case. God, I've got loads there, aren't I? You choose which one it is. Um, press save. Come down here, and you do not on demand. You do a regular intervals. Find out how many. I think it's three twenty, maybe three hundred twenty minutes. Is that six hours? Sounds about right.
No, it's 360. Oh, dear. Save. So every six hours, and that will run every six hours, um, four operations a day. It's really easy just because they've got the native node here in make.com. And all the data will get sent straight away into your Google Sheets. So autonomously, every six hours, leads will be getting scraped, um, sent to this webhook, added into your Google Sheets really easily. And there you go. You can just let this run for a week and you'll have... I don't know, 15,000 leads or whatever. Anyway, that's pretty much it. You can just, um, yeah, have this run every six hours and have leads getting into your Google Sheets like that while you sleep. So, yeah, if you like this, drop it a like. Subscribe. I'll be dropping another automation in a couple of days and probably another automation straight after that. So it's going to be a few automations coming up that have really helped me and I've been working on myself recently. So if you want to see them, um, stay tuned. And I'll see you all in the next one, but take care.